Hi guys, Blythe here at Dendamo Castle, and I wanted to take a minute to introduce you to a new series we're working on, on the mysteries of Dendamo Castle. So over the next few weeks and months, we are going to be introducing short videos, and in each one you're going to see a different member of the team, sometimes tour guides, sometimes members of the BC staff, and they're going to be talking about different mysteries, different strange bits of the castle, some of which, or most of which, we just don't have answers to. So some of these that you can look forward to, we're going to be looking at the lions on the front of the castle, we're going to be talking about where were the bedrooms, where were the castle kitchens, uh, things like the arrow slit that's behind me, was it really an arrow slit? Um, we're also going to be looking at the prison, was it really a prison? So all of this stuff and lots more we're going to be exploring, looking into with different members of staff and volunteers. And with all of this stuff, like I say, it's still a mystery, so we absolutely love your input. We're hoping that if we put all of these things out there, maybe somebody will look at it and say, I know what that is, and that would be great. So, like I say, please keep an eye on our all of our social media channels and on our YouTube over the next few weeks and months. Have a look at all of our mysteries, and maybe you're going to be the one that will help us with that little piece of information that we need. Enjoy! Above my head on the west wall of the castle is a stone carving which is a bit of a mystery to us. And it's the two lions that are just below the shield of John the Earl of Carrick. And the two lions are facing each other. And that's normally a sign of aggression. But if you look really closely at the animals, both their tails are between their legs. And that's normally a sign of submission or cowardice. So it would seem that they represent two entities, two individuals, families, whatever, that were once had loggerheads, but were now at peace. And the other strange thing about that design is the front paws, two of the front paws are actually holding hands or shaking hands, again, which is possibly a sign of peace. But for the life of us, we really don't know what it means.